så god jag är. Ja, jag inte se att vi kan se your face för nästa. Jag ser only face and so here. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. So I should start. Yeah. Hey, I think hope the comment me shall it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, I am cooking soup. I will not tell you the name of the soup yet. So, let's concentrate on this. So, this is flour. Cassava flour. That is coconut powder. Coconut powder. So, I'm going to use this coconut powder. I have already boiled water on the stove. And I'm going to pour in this coconut powder. You have seen me boiling coconut with different different method. In other video, someone is helping me to pour in the powder. In another video, I pour the powder little by little. In this video, I pour all the powder at once. So now I have poured the powder in the hot water. I have to boil it very fast so it does not clot. Kukunte is a type of food, when you make little mistake, it will clot and you will not enjoy it. So the peanut butter is still cooking. So the reason why I didn't start the peanut butter here is because I have already different type of peanut butter soup on the YouTube channel. You can check it out. Put it here. And this is the coconut. I have four water over it. And I'm going to cover it to boil. So the peanut butter soup is still boiling. And now I'm going to add the salmon. You can use any fish, any meat, chicken of your desire. You can even add eggs when you are cooking. Okay. You can add eggs in it. Not raw eggs. Boiled egg or fried egg into it. It tastes good. The peanut butter, it will taste so good. So here I'm pouring in blended onions, blended fresh onions. And I give it a little stir because the soup is almost ready. That's why I added the onion. So I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes. Then it's ready. So unfortunately, the cocoa tea, the water I pour over the cocoa tea was too much. But one good thing about coconut tea is that when the water becomes too much, you can always add more of the powder to make it thick. So here, I'm sharing with you the type of coconut tea I was using. I pour a little bit of the powder to the ready cook. So this is the powder coconut tea. I bought it last year from some African shop, a Ghanaian shop. Yeah. So I pour a little of the powder on the already cooked coconut tea because the water was too much so here i have to mix it slowly and gently for it to mix well before i can boil it faster so i'm still mixing it the powder with the already cooked one you know coconut tea you don't have to cook it long because it's a long process it's the high it's the they have already dry it with sand and then when you are boiling with hot water soon it's already cooked so now it has mixed perfectly and i want the texture i'm looking for this is the type of the texture i'm looking for not too soft like the other one you saw so this is the coconut tea i'm going to leave it to cook like 15 minutes more and then i will show you what i'm going to do next so there Soup is still boiling slowly on a lower heat. And now the coconut is ready. Right? It is ready. So I'm going to shape it. 
but before i shape it i need to just boil it once more boil it so that the surface that look like dry will mix well so have you seen the way it tastes it, it, the texture has become so i don't know how to describe it so but it's so perfect yeah perfect here perfect perfect here so now with my small bowl this is a bowl i used to shape all my food fufu bengu etc all the time so this is ceramic pot the pottery poetry or whatever pot okay ceramic pot Ghana sanka and this is wooden masha and I'm going to take the rest of the coconut tea into a container and keep it for the next day. I'm telling you, I don't throw my leftover coconut tea away. That's why I make it thicker. So the next day, when you put it in the microwave, you are ready to eat. So I'm using another masha. That's my favorite masha to shape it. And uh, it's not too smooth, but hey, yeah, because the stramis bow is new and it couldn't make the back of the coconut tea smooth but it's okay and i decided to clean around little bit because the coconut tea powder is everywhere yeah it was everywhere so i just clean around a little bit that is normal way when i'm cooking i'm cleaning around as well so that's the coconut tea i cover it with foil paper and this is my soup bowl or salad bowl is i can use it for many things in fact i met this bowl in my house already before i was dating it was here before i married it was here i've never buy such thing yeah so i'm serving myself and i'm going to pour a little bit of the soup on top of the coconut tea i'm not going to eat yet i will eat during the lunch it is too early for me to eat so to avoid my coconut tea to stand there without soup, I add a little little soup on top and just one meat and I'm going to cover it and place it aside. All the rest of the soup will be kept in the freezer. This is the soup I'm going to use, but I'm going to keep it in the microwave and go and rest. So you see, this is the weather. It is so cold and I needed soup to enjoy the weather yeah the weather is cold yeah negative negative 10 that day so i'm going to keep it aside in the lunch time when i'm about to eat i'll use microwave to heat it so it is lunch time you can see that beside me there is some lighting coming there i'll show you later so with my drinking glass i'm going to make cocktail this is very fast and quick cocktail i pour in ice cubes like 10 ice cubes placed in frozen parsley i pour in mole wine that is swedish mole wine for the christmas i have it since last year and this is white wine i added and then i'm going to add swept you can use kune tonic you can add any to make this cocktail so this is ready to go so yeah i have already placed this ceramics on the store for it to heat a little bit and then the soup i have microwave it i'm going to eat okay it's lunch time let me enjoy little although i'm not happy 2021 is my saddest year of the the whole year was saddest year i'm not ready to share that in my private life but i know in the future i'm going to share with the world okay those who are going to cry will cry. You will just take your wine or your water beside you. Even you cannot drink them because it is a sad story. So this is the chicken we made in the morning, right? Some of them. That's why I didn't use a lot of meat for the soup. So this is the food I'm going to enjoy. You know, it has been many, many years. It has been a year that I have enjoyed eating. I lost my appetite of eating, but as some time goes on, God has healed me. So I'm free from all sadness. So that is our my cocktail. Yeah, for the picture, I give different levels to take the pictures. 
to get the perfect pizza for the tummy nuts. So I'm eating now. I'm really enjoying the food. But at the same time, please, you are all invited, okay, for your prayers, for your caring, your messages you send to me. I love it. You have shown me you love me, even when the word was so against me. I love you, everybody who stands beside me. With God, all things are possible. I'm done eating. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. Thank you.